Hello there, and welcome back to the Banner Saga Factions. In this particular video, we are going to, well, I'm going to, teach you the basics of playing an archer. And you are going to learn how to do all these things once we're done. So, <laughs> with any luck, if you pay attention. So, there will be a test later on. Right, so, needless to say, an archer carries a bow and arrows, which enables her to take down enemies from a safe distance. And this this is reflected in her health and armor, which are capped at a low 7, but luckily she compensates this with a hefty amount of willpower, that's 8, uh, that's quite high, and an exertion of 2, which allows her to dish out extra damage when need be, or uh, helps her move around the battlefield, because an archer normally uh, can only move two, uh, sorry, three squares at a time. So adding those two extra squares in when you have to run away from someone or reach someone in order to fire at them is very handy indeed. Now, what makes an archer especially lethal is her passive, Puncture. This allows the archer to deal one point of additional damage for every two points of armor the target is missing. But, and here's the deal, only if she hasn't moved beforehand. So you have to say still, you can't move and then fire in order to um, gain puncture. You need to stay still, sort of like a precision aiming thing, I suppose. So as long as you stay still uh, and you attack a low armored unit, that is to say, not a unit with... Well, obviously, if someone has low armor, you do more damage to them. But the point is that they have to have had... They have to have lost armor. So, uh, Puncture doesn't take into account someone who starts with low armor. It only takes into account targets that have lost armor. So, uh, if you break someone's armor, that you know what I mean. Um... <laughs> Now, one thing to bear in mind as the archer is that she does not have infinite range. A common mistake I see new players make is that they put their archers in the corners of the arena at the start or just, you know, position them really badly. Uh, and what they have to do the rest of the game is just spend time moving these units back into the action. And you spend you just waste valuable time while the enemy team is beating up your front line. Um, you need to take advantage of uh, of the time when your archers are safe um, behind your defensive line rather than have them run about. So position them behind the, your units but not too far away so as to uh, not be able to shoot. Um, basic stuff. Um, and the way to gauge the range is by looking at what is highlighted when you uh, hover a specific square that you're thinking of moving to. For instance, here I hover the... Uh, like, just look at the enemy troop there. You can see that he's highlighted whenever I hover um, the movement, um, the cursor at a square that I can reach the target from, so keep this in mind. I can't stress this enough because um, I know people who, who for some reason cannot, uh, or they they make their move and then find out later or afterwards when they've made that move that they they are not in range uh, of the unit that they wanted to attack. So make sure you know uh, that you can reach that unit before you make your move. Now lastly, the uh, archer can be promoted to a sky striker, bowmaster, or a siege archer. So these are classes that I'm going to be taking up, or units, what have you, uh, that I'm going to take a look at later in separate videos. This is the archer video, this is the basic unit that you can get and I'll be moving on to the more advanced stuff once I've covered all the basic units. 
So, I hope this has been a help to you, and a good luck uh, defeating your foes on the battlefield. I will see you next time on the Bandasaga Factions. Goodbye.